Today, 18 Sumner County students and one faculty member were sent to the hospital for carbon dioxide poisoning. A science experiment with dry ice went wrong. Yeah, so students say they felt nauseous and a few started to vomit. Our Marissa Sulik spoke with students and parents on scene today. The teacher said if it's all gone, like the ice, we could drink it. Drink it. That's what third grader Eager Cagle was told during a dry ice experiment at Vena Stewart Elementary. Little did he and 18 others know they would have to go to Sumner Regional Medical Center. That's where Cagle was treated for a fever and difficulty breathing. I feel like I had a stomachache and I felt like I was going to throw up and my head hurt it and I felt dizzy. My mind was a thousand miles a minute. D'Angelo Lauderdale's son was also rushed to the hospital for carbon dioxide poisoning. I definitely had a breakdown and cried because it's just I didn't know what was going on besides your son's in the hospital along with other students. Sumner County School says a company called the Science Guys came here to do the experiment today. The students were trying to make Sprite with dry ice and the Science Guys said everything went as planned. They brought kitchen ingredients so no one should get hurt. That's probably something we're going to remove from the classroom from now on, but that's something we're still kind of looking at. Jeremy Johnson with Sumner County Schools says they have worked with this company countless times and have never had an incident like this. Lauderdale says she doesn't want her son near dry ice anytime soon. Moving forward, I would like to know what exactly are these science experiments going to be from now on. In Gallatin, Marissa Sulik, WSMV4. Sumner County School says the classroom was ventilated and will be ready for students next week. All 19 people are okay.